You can build the finest house in the world, but once you skip down proofing, DPC and DPM, be ready to watch water creep up your walls like witchcraft and be ready for peeling paint, bubbling walls, mold, cockroaches, and even lung diseases. Stick with me and you'll learn what a DPC and a DPM is and why ignoring it may cost you more than what you think. And most importantly, how to fix rising damp if you've already made that mistake. I've seen millionaire finishes peel like old posters simply because someone thought damp proofing was optional. A damp proof course, DPC, is a barrier built into your walls just above ground level to stop moisture from creeping upwards through capillary action. Think of an upside down roof stopping underground rain from getting inside your wall. In Nigeria, it's usually a layer of waterproof concrete or a type of membrane. Without it, your walls become sponges and they retain water. What about a damp proof membrane, DPM? A damp proof membrane, DPM, is a moisture barrier, just like a damp proof course. But instead of it being inside your walls, damp proofing the walls, it damp proofs the floor, protects the floor from rising damp from the foundation. Damp is water moisture. A landlord I knew, this guy always felt like he was the sharpest guy, never taking corrections, never taking anything under advisement. I too know. Let's call him Uncle Sheyi. Uncle Sheyi skipped proper DPC to save time. Joker. Many months after tenants had moved in, paint started bubbling and the cabinetry and furniture swelled like soaked bread. Hmm. Tenants whispered insults and curses, but the real cause, water climbing his walls, eating his finishing and breathing mold. Fixing it later cost more than the entire rent he was collecting from his tenants. And even that, was not a permanent fix. Skipping DPC and DPM is like taking off all your protection and jumping in headfirst. It's only fun till you start seeing consequences. Rising damp destroys paint, plaster, timber, and even electrical points. It creates a musty smell no tenant or buyer will ignore. Even your friends will not come visiting you. Use proper waterproof concrete mix or an asphalt or plastic membrane and then place it at least 150 mm above the finished ground level. Overlap joints by at least 150 mm. Pair with side drainage because damp proofing is not magic. Make sure you employ supervision because you don't know anything and don't assume your artisan understands why spacing and material choices matter. If your house is already wet from rising damp, the best fix is the one that I will never recommend. Unless money and practicality were not an issue. It's to demolish and rebuild. But let's be honest, that is rarely on the table. The next option, insert damp proofing into your existing walls. You have to prop the walls, carefully break under them, slide in proper damp proofing, and then refix the wall, replaster, and refinish everything. It is invasive, expensive, and time consuming. In fact, you not enjoy that house while they are doing it, but it works. I don't offer that service in case you may ask, but join my mailing list and I'll offer recommendations and other tips and tricks in construction and real estate. If the problem is with your damp proof membrane, that is the one in the floor slab itself, you need to apply a new damp proofing layer across the entire floor, rescreed and then retire. There are other chemical injection systems on the market too, but their success depends heavily on skill and conditions. And in Nigeria's climate, inserting physical barriers is usually more reliable. People think skipping damp proofing saves you money, but repairs, hospital bills, wall cutting, replastering, retiling, lost strength, and then it can cost 5 to 20 times what a proper damp proofing would have cost you. A cheap shortcut today becomes a financial ambush tomorrow. A DPC and DPM is a thin invisible line that protects everything above it. Respect it or your dream home will look haunted before the paint dries. <laughs> have you ever seen a damp disaster? What is the worst damage you witnessed? Drop your story in the comments below. Let's help someone avoid that pain. For more construction sense and not just cement, hit subscribe. Join my mailing list. I've been Fola Jomi. See you on the next one.